Hey guys, my name's Noah. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you clicked on this video, it is because you are wondering how the hell I am traveling with over 50 houseplants from California to Texas. So um, I kind of have it all laying in front of me right now. I'm looking at it and it is a hot giant mess, but I think it's going to work. So I'm going to definitely film the whole process of us moving from California, like I said, Los Angeles specifically to Houston, Texas. Um, it's about a 22 hour drive, I believe, obviously give or take like obviously we're gonna stop a bunch we're gonna stop and sleep so it's gonna take us about two and a half days to do the whole drive and everything so i do have a very small car i have a chevy cruise it's super tiny even for a sedan um my fiance drives a chevy impala and you could fit a lot more in that car however we did decide to take my car because it's in a little bit better condition um, and we'd rather have that car in texas with us for now so all these plants got to fit in my car it is going to be insane but i'm i actually have to show you this hold on this is the little diagram i made to try to organize myself in preparation to take all these plants to the car i'm going to be doing it tomorrow morning and i'll obviously film everything that i'm doing but let me give you guys an idea of what i have planned so this is the organized mess that i have it is not all my plants and i do have some other plants kind of lingering around the apartment um, i have this bin also and then i have some outside i don't know if you guys can see that so this isn't everything so if i could try to fit more i definitely will so here's my plan. So my back seat, ha obviously there's three seats in the back seat, right? I'm planning, one of them has a car seat. So I really only have two seats, but then I have like three floors, um, like on the floor of the car. So my plan is to have on one seat, this gray bin, it's going to be covered. And then on top of it, I will put two small white bins. So I'll put these two bins on top of it. Then in the seat next to it, I'm going to have that bin. That is going to be closed. It has a lid as well. So that bin will be closed and then this will go on top of it. And I'm thinking I could probably fit two of these. So I'm going to fit this one. And then this one over here is gonna go on top of that. Um, so that's basically the back seat. Then the floor. This is gonna be on the floor underneath the car seat. So that's that. I could squeeze in another plant there and probably another plant there that I have outside on the balcony. So I'm going to do that. And then, um, and then next to it is like the middle seat in the on the floor. <laughs> so it's kind of like a bump. So I'm going to be able to fit just one of those, but the other one's already accounted for. <laughs> I hope you guys are following along. And then in the car seat, I'm going to put the elephant ear and hopefully my Monstera Deliciosa as well. Then on the, the third floor, I'm gonna fit this Croton back here, as well as this Philodendron Cellum and this Monstera Adansoni, I'm hoping. So that's everything. Now, I don't know if you guys are keeping track, but I also have this bin right here. And this bin actually has my most important plants, like my Maculata, my Raphidophora, my Albo Syngonium, so. What I'm thinking is this plan is not going to work as it is right now. I'm going to go to Target right now and get another small bin like that that closes so that that can go on the floor and then this can go on top of it so it'll be able to fit another bin of plants. Um, so I'm going to do that today. So before this plan is complete, I'm going to have to take myself to Target and get another closed bin and then I think we'll be good. So I'll be able to fit everything. Oh, I didn't even mention, I also have these hanging plants up here and those are all gonna be hanging on the hooks in the car, you know, where you like hang your coat. I'm gonna try to hang those. So I'm thinking two plants per hook. I have four plants up there. Um, I have my pothos that I propagated, um, a Crimson Queen Hoya, I don't know if you guys could see, a Maranta and a Satin pothos. And then I also have this giant, those that I'm thinking maybe I'll try to I don't want to have anything on my lap because it's a 20 hour drive but I'm thinking I might be able to squeeze it in depending on how it goes so we'll see um, like I said I still have other plants lingering around that I'm hoping I'll be able to squeeze in to some of these extra spots I'm gonna go to Target and try to finalize all these bins and 
uh, I will obviously take you guys along with me as I'm putting all this in my car. So see how it goes. Wish me luck. All right, so this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Here you can see me loading up my car and I am just kind of trying to finesse everything to make it fit. The bins was a great idea because that really kept them safe and let me stack. So what I would do is close the bin and then put another little open bin on top of that one. So that definitely really helped. If I didn't think of that, this would have never worked. Um, and having them all like kind of close together helped because they ne didn't move around in the car at all. They were totally fine the whole way up. Oh, and I decided to keep my Albo Syngonium with me in the front seat. Um, so another thing that really helped me out was that I was towing this car on the back of the U-Haul. So I was actually able to fill up the passenger seat as well as the driver's seat. However, all my plants did not end up fitting. I didn't necessarily leave any behind, but I did throw a few plants in the back of the U-Haul and they did not survive, you guys. That was not a good idea. Putting them in the back of the U-Haul was a horrible idea because there's just too much space there for them to move around and the dirt fell over and a lot of leaves got crushed and some of the roots rotted and got squished. So that was a bad idea. But the plants that I did put in my car all made it None of them struggled, none of them had any issues, they all made it just fine. Another thing that I did that I don't really show in this video is I hung up sheets on the windows so that way the sun wouldn't blast in on them because I did end up reading what other people had done during their move and they said that the sun scorched a lot of their plants and did kill a lot of leaves so I didn't want that to happen so by covering the windows I was really able to prevent that because when you're driving for you know 12 hours with the sun blaring on them they're pretty much in direct sunlight and you don't want that. Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly jump into this video. Um, I'm editing it and I'm seeing that I didn't really explain what happened at the end, but I definitely want to let you guys know um, I don't have footage of it, me unpacking them because it was just so hectic. If you haven't seen my video complaining about that, you should go see it. But um, all of them survived and did very, very well. I think putting the blanket on the windows was like the best idea I could have done. Um, or the best idea I had. So glad I looked that up before driving. They were totally fine being trapped in those boxes. I actually think they probably liked it because of the humidity in there. So I don't think that was an issue for any of them. And I think the main thing you have to worry about is scorched leaves and moving around. So if things shake and rattle in the car, that's gonna be a problem. So those bins really helped prevent that because they're all just, the bins moving, right? Not the plants. Um, the few casualties I did have were the plants that I put into the U-Haul and they were not in bins and they ended up moving around too much and got crushed by stuff and they did not survive. Well, I only had like three plants that didn't survive so it's not the end of the world but yeah, I definitely recommend bins, covering your windows and honestly you should be good to go. Our trip was two and a half days so they did two and a half days. I didn't water them or anything like that, but I made sure to do all that stuff beforehand. Yeah, nothing was too dry. Everything was great. Um, I even think they liked the humidity in the car. So as long as you cover them from getting too much direct sunlight and you just make sure they're not moving around, you guys should be good to go like I was. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have you guys moved across states with plants before? Because this was my first time. I don't plan on doing it again, but it actually was fine. It worked out good. Let me know if you guys had any issues or what problems you guys came across so that other people can read it in the comments below and learn from you guys as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post new videos every single Thursday and Sunday. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's Casa Rose for fun planty updates. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.